John, why are we here today? Hey, so uh, we are at the Cap. This looks over here. Keep talking and talking. Okay, so we're at the Capitol Building in Salt Lake City, Utah, and the governor of Utah is about to pardon a turkey from the farm Norvest. And the turkey's outside, and. <laughs> What's that? Good job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're in the bathroom. Now we're in the bathroom. And we just think that this is just a very frivolous event. Um, it's designed to, I'm not even really sure. It's, I mean, it's sort of making a mockery of the whole idea of pardoning, right? When you pardon somebody, it's, you pardon someone who's committed a crime. And, like this animal has not committed any crime. Uh, like the only, the reason that this animal needs to be pardoned is that this animal was born different. Um, and so we're here just to confront the governor, uh, to confront the company Norbest, um, and to say, like, we don't think that, you know, you should be, you know, presenting yourselves as kind, compassionate animal lovers because we've actually been inside of your farm. And the animals inside of it are not treated with kindness and compassion. They're treated, uh, I mean, they, like, they're treated with neglect um, and just straight violence. Like, um, I mean, the animals there were, they were sick, they were starving, um, many were dead, many had cannibalized each other. I mean, and this is not how sentient beings should be treated. Like, every single one of them should have a full, safe, happy, free life on a sanctuary, like the one turkey who is being pardoned today. But what about the other 50, you know, 50,000, 100,000 million turkeys uh, who are, are kept in these awful conditions every year? Like, this is wrong. It has to stop. And okay. Yep. Uh, and thanks for that, John. Okay, so just so everybody knows, like, right now it's getting started. We yeah. wanted to um, give everybody a little bit of a primer. So we started okay. off, we showed you kind of the, the display they have there. Um, there's all these, like, probably hundreds of school children, which is you know, kind of next level, and then there's also, they had the, that display where the, the turkey is, you know, sitting and, and, you know, the turkey that's being pardoned is eating popcorn, and it's this whole jovial thing. So, right now, um, the governor is about to be introduced, so um, I just came back here to give you guys a little bit of an intro. Now, when we head out there, we're going to keep quiet for, for at least a minute or two, um, because we, we do want to get the governor and not the other parts. We're not exactly sure of the timing, so please just mm -hmm. bear with us. It, it's a little bit shaky, but um, we're going we're gonna to head out there. Cool. <clears throat>
what's going on, guys? Hey, we just... CEO Cook, we want to talk to you right now. As just yesterday in CBS News, we published an expose showing the truth. Now, Norbest wants to tell you a lie. We have children yes. here. Yes, Matt, Matt, you said you were going to cancel the contract with this barn. You said that. Why don't you just show us all the barns? We'll leave right now. Just show us what all your barns are like. They were being cannibalized. They were sick. They were dead. If you're proud of the conditions, you come with us, Mr. Cook. We want to go to the farm right now. Public service. The public deserves to know the truth. Stop lying to consumers. Norbus, stop lying to consumers. Those animals are not living in a... In you a said you would cancel the contract. Show us all the barns. They're all the same. Stop lying to consumers. Stop... And you know it. Okay. I just work here. No, I, I, I understand. I, I respect, your, your, I respect and, your job. And I appreciate your cooperation. Yep. You knew it. You were there. Yep. I guess what's an agency or just. Yeah, so I called direct action everywhere. We good? You want IDs and just to make sure. What was the organization? It's okay. called uh, Direct Action Everywhere. It's a. Um, Animal Rights Network. We uh, go inside of farms and we uh, we rescue animals. So we actually investigated Norbest, um, and just yesterday it was covered in national news. And Norbest, they're out here. You know, I mean, as a public good, I think this is something that everybody wants to know. They're they're lying mm -hmm. to consumers. They have this pretty picture of. of of mountains, you know, and, and this beautiful scenery where these chickens are living. But you know, this is this is the reality. And, and John here has some pictures as well. You know, this is the reality of what of what Norbest is selling to their cons to, to, to customers. You know, this is the norm. And we expose this. And then to make it to make matters worse, the CEO he comes out and he makes a public statement and he tells the public that he's deeply disturbed by this and he throws this other farmer. This is what the farmer's out of a job now because he says he's going to cut off the contract with this one farmer when in fact we've been inside of all their farms and they all have these same conditions. So it's you know you're lying to customers, you're lying to the public, you're, you're torturing animals, and, and you're also throwing your own small businessman under the bus. And, and then you come to events like this and you know, people think it's, it's all wonderful because of uh, you know, a happy facade on uh, the face of it. Are those Utah farms? Yeah. Yep. yeah no, Maroney, they're they're Norbest. Utah. Maroney. Yeah. No, Maroney, sorry. Yeah. No, you have an and, and John was, I do. I can take this, John. Thanks. <laughs> all right, folks. So we're, um, I think we're going to get turned loose here just showing the IDs. Uh, to the authorities here. I think it went halfway well. I mean, I wish we could have, we had a few more things to say and we, you know, um, I'm not sure what his response was. We do have folks in there who were also recording um, that uh, can, can probably uh, would have gotten that. So, I, I mean, I'm definitely very curious to hear what, what he has to say, what the governor may have to say when he comes up there. Um, but uh, for right now, um, I think we're about to be cut loose here, and I think we definitely piqued the interest of some folks there. They were—they certainly weren't—they weren't laughing at us. They weren't—I uh, mean, I mean, maybe a few of them, but I think the the uh, main reaction we got was was people that were like genuinely curious and, and kind of confused. And I think people will be um, will be looking this up because you know nobody nobody wins in this scenario. It's it's literally the the corporation, the shareholders, and and you know millionaires like uh, Mr. Cook standing up there on the podium. And so, you know, we feel like this is a public service, this is a public good um, that's, you know, in, in everyone's interest. So um, I think, you know, overall it was, it was definitely a success, uh, what we were able to do. Um, all right, are we free to go, gentlemen? You are free okay, to go. thank you, have a good one. <clears throat> okay, let's get a turn back around here. All right, nice work. Okay. All right, we are joined here by Robin. So, uh, Robin, did you catch the, uh, sorry, let me get this turned back around, sorry, I'm a little the place everybody robin um so did, did you catch the comments after we left um yeah basically they just went to um we're being politically correct and that this is a big family ordeal and that that corporation is feeding lots of hungry families yeah and that they all just need to trust in god and oh man I mean, they went there yeah so okay. they pulled the god card but. yeah the god card the family the family farms card uh and the the feeding hungry people after yeah. they uh, feed animals 10 yeah. to 15 times yeah. the, the you know plant matter it takes to turn into one pound of animal yeah but, well he, uh, he was totally shit like his voice was shaking right after he was speaking for like the next like two minutes so nice. well he was I definitely disrupted I don't know <laughs> I shouldn't say nice because I you know it's not about him as a person but we definitely need to get out there and uh, yeah. you know call out these corporations and the, yeah. the figureheads at the top
you know, because we, <clears throat> you know, we do what we want to, you know, we want to have a conversation, and that's what we challenged him to, and I don't think any of us are holding our breath on a, on a phone call from Mr. Cook. <laughs> uh, so, you know, he sounded like, I mean, I mean, from, from the way you made it sound, like, it seems like he had his lines ready to go. Oh, we definitely, he, we got an extra seat in the car, you know, right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, if he, you know, and we had to we had to make a little bit of a call there uh actually because we weren't sure if uh if it was going to be the governor first if it was going to be the the mm -hmm. ceo uh or if the ceo was even going to speak he was trying to cross <laughs> so we uh you know we walked out there and it was the ceo and i think we i think i think that was the better target i think that was the better ask um uh to to go after him plus we were just there and i think we were kind of getting possibly some some eyes on us i think people you know it's a good thing in a way that uh, our activism is kind of becoming known farther and wider, um, you know, than before that people are kind of recognizing us. It seemed like more of a police force than would have been expected. I don't know. Yeah, we were, we were apprehended pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. And, and even as I was starting to walk up there, like I thought, you know, it was at a point where uh, you wouldn't. Like they shouldn't have had their suspicions aroused, but somebody was like, "Sir, stop!" You know, right. you know what I mean. And it's like, you know, it's on right now. Yeah, and I was asked multiple questions. I basically had to go in detail on how as a university student. So. Oh, this isn't my phone. Okay, so I'm not sure what that call was. I'm about using somebody else's phone right now. Um, so, anyways, folks, we want you to stay with us. Um, we are going to now that we're securely away from people. I can tell you, uh, our adventures are not done for the day. This was step one of three, and. Um, we are now going to, let's think of what I want to say right now. Um, we are going to head to a Norbest farm and we're going to stay on public property. So Norbest, if you're out there listening, hey, we're, we're going to, we're not breaking any laws here. Certainly, we'd love to have a conversation with you. Um, you know, if anybody from Norbest, hey, jump on this live stream, send us a comment, tell us when and where. We would love to have a conversation with you. This is not a conversation that's, that's you know, it's just animal rights activists versus the world. This is a public good. The public deserves to know the truth. And, you know, it's amazing that when he gets called out, you know, he'll say, you know, they're, they're mountain grown turkeys and the, he's deeply disturbed, he said, by these conditions and, you know, all this, you know, stuff about the welfare of animals, he can, you know, say from afar and say from the, you know, the nice PR protection of a website and fancy marketing. But once he gets called on it directly, he instantly pivots. It's instantly something about God, something about feeding families, family farms, all the rest of it, like... I don't know. Do we need to do we need to talk about his salary right now? Like, is this the kind of person we need to take pity on? Um, okay, so we're actually waiting. We had one more person with us, um, and she uh, is staying. She was taking photos. Um, shout out to Amy from uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, I just met her last night, and she uh, joined us. So awesome uh, to have her joining us. Um, you know, we might. Um, Okay, yeah, I, th I, th I think we'll stay here. Hopefully, uh, does somebody want to run back in and try and grab her and just tell her, like, it's all good and just she should come back here right now? Okay, cool. So we'll stay with you, folks. Um, hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Um, John, can you, or yeah. but, do you just want to both get in the back seat or something? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, and, and for anybody that hasn't seen it, um, yesterday, um, DXE released its investigation of Norvest Turkey, and uh, John... Um, was part of that investigation and he's been inside so uh, for people who may not have heard oh there's Amy <laughs> Robin! Hey, Robin Robin come back <laughs> all right so here's Amy can I, can I put you on live stream are you cool with that sure. okay cool awesome so here we have Amy bravo yeah. Amy uh, let's have um, John you're gonna drive uh, I can yeah let's, let's have Robin do it okay. I think because you can have better commentary sure, sure, sure. so Amy let's have you take <laughs> shotgun <clears throat> so um, we got out of there, and uh, John and I obviously didn't catch all that there was to catch, but we caught the most exciting part, probably. Yeah, and uh, can you give us commentary specifically on uh, any reaction you heard from the CEO? And I don't know if you heard the governor or not. I don't know how, how long how that all went. Yeah, um, the CEO is definitely a little well, shaken afterwards. Um, so he was a little fumbly over his words, and then he was just, you know, continued to try to talk about the turkey tradition mm -hmm. and the spiritual aspect of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, Nothing about animal welfare. 
Nothing about Anna. No, well, he, no, no he, he must have just forgot. Yeah, I mean, it's not like people were like yelling it. It's not like he was, anything was brought to his attention or anything. He must have totally that whole animal welfare thing was just yeah. Slipped his mind and yeah, he said he's proud of you know whatever his his growers as they refer to them. Yeah, um, yeah. And then when the governor took over, the governor did say that um, you know there's a lot of kids here and. Hopefully your teachers teach okay. you about civics. <laughs> All right, awesome. So we've yeah. got word, um, our, our uh, social media team is actually letting us know they want us to shut down the live stream and upload the HD footage. So uh, Robin was here and got us some, some, hopefully some pretty high quality HD footage. We're gonna wanna upload that right away. Um, I think we might be hopping back on later. So folks, keep an eye out because there might be more, uh, more best related adventures uh, yet to come since we, you know, drove all night to get out here, so we're gonna try and make it worth our while. So definitely stay tuned on the DXC page for the HD footage of the disruption and uh, maybe a few other uh, special treats for you to be determined. All right, thanks for watching, folks. See you later. Oh, don't forget to sign the petition. Sign the petition. <laughs> sign the petition asking the CEO to stop torturing animals and to move to plant-based alternatives. In this day and age, it's outrageous that we don't, uh, you know, that, that this is even still a conversation. Tofurky, I mean, there's just so many. I had an awesome field roast uh, or a, a tofurky, you know, turkey roast type deal yesterday. Yeah, so many alternatives out there. Like, let's stop living in the past. Let's stop torturing animals. Let's stop killing the, uh, you know, the world and lying to consumers. So please sign the petition and stay tuned to DXC and we will talk to you later.